All right, team, it is Saturday morning, 7.44, bit of a slow start. And by the time you're seeing this, this is already a week later, probably by the time you're seeing this, but essentially <laughs> opportunity comes and when it comes, it, it comes in big waves. Um, and you've probably already seen this, if you haven't, last week I, um, well today, but last week for you, um, moving my storage unit, got the opportunity. get into something a little bit bigger uh, for a bit cheaper price price and it's going to enable some things to be better for future proofing but with that comes hard work and a bit of effort and you know all that jazz so anyway that's kind of what's on my mind at the moment and it is an absolutely stunning morning um, we're gonna go out for a run probably just gonna take a very very easy because yesterday we've already started putting up shelving and moving things and I'm cooked. <laughs> so we've got today, Saturday, and Sunday, and it is a long weekend, so we'll probably be doing some Monday too, getting that crack and say, so I'm gonna give you a bit of a outsider perspective of all this, not in my normal weekly update videos, but as a running perspective of just, you know, me processing, working through how that looks, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's go for a run. So good. So good. Look at that. So good. Oh, all done. All done. Just a very light and easy run. Done about four and a bit K. Um, feeling a few things so anyway I wanted to kind of give this and there'll be a bit of a recording tomorrow that I'll do which is part of this whole video so don't go anywhere I'm not done yet but I wanted to just give that perspective of last week I was talking about how I use the running to you know separate myself from all the other stuff that I'm doing <clears throat> but it's also a great place to get a, a different perspective calm the mind and maybe rethink you know take a step away from things so at the moment it's just helping me feel fresh, feel alive, feel sore at the same time. But it gets me excited to knowing that I'm going into today to move everything, to make some things better hopefully. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, I'll give you an update from this perspective. Tomorrow, after today, we're actually doing the actual move. Yesterday, on Friday, I was doing um, the actual bringing in shelving and things like that. So, anyway, pretty solid run. 30 minutes, 4.25k, nice 7.03 pace. All right, team, I'll see you in a second. We'll jump over to Sunday. All right, it's now Sunday, 7.47 a.m. Bit of a late start again. It's, I'm tired from the move. Good grief, we managed to get everything across. Now, if you haven't checked out the video, you can go check it out for yourself, but this is that commentary of, as it's happening live, of me kind of playing it back because by the time this video comes out, it's a week later, but this is actually, I haven't even, I haven't even filmed the rest of that video yet, so this is kind of that behind the scenes view, but anyway, we're going to go do a 5k, just, I'm super sore, we managed to get 80% done yesterday, which was Saturday, um, today we have a couple of obstacles to solve, always want to know when these things go 
go into play, but there's always going to be something that's going to require you to pivot, adjust, and put a little bit of pressure with problem solving. Got everything in, got more space, got more shelving. It's all working a charm. All seems too good to be true. And at the very, very end of the day, after moving in, we discovered that there's a bit of a heat issue on the wall where I'm going to be putting all the clothing. Now, my concern is that it's going to be causing the clothing to sweat or perspiration in the bags, um, eventually leading to mold. Yeah, so got to solve for that today. Going to put some insulation in, going to change up a few little things and see how that goes because if that doesn't work, it's like, well, is it worth moving there? if I can't use that space because of the heat anyway. So a few things to solve for. Um, that's what I'm just playing in my head processing. I think I have a game plan now. Anyway, let's go for a run. I'll talk a bit more about it and uh, we'll charge on. Oh, so calm, so good. Never gets old. Good. Just so good. It never ever gets old. One point four five k in. Don't think you can see that really well, but let's charge on. Nice little 5k. Feeling it. Also finished um, the book How We Measure Your Life. It's actually really good. There's some really good perspectives in it. Really good uh, analogies. Actually, it's probably just perspectives is the best word of helping you understand how sometimes what we think we're doing isn't always the best approach. Or our thinking may actually feel good for a short term, but it doesn't actually work out for the long term and there's some really good things in there uh, I, I do recommend the book um which is is, is kind of ironic because all the stuff that i'm dealing with at the moment with are current problems these problems all come with the byproduct of growing of opportunity of expanding and sometimes it can be our own fault like i blame myself for not doing the due diligence of understanding whether there be a heat problem but one of those things which it wasn't an obvious feel when I tested out the area it wasn't hot but after six hours in there you realize that it's it's pretty hot now what does this mean well there's options there's things to try there's things to pivot it there's things to see if I can get it to fix it or there's complete workarounds of don't use it go back change the way I'm doing things there's lots of options regardless is each option leads us a path forward and that's the process you have to follow keep moving forwards figuring out how to how to juggle that so at this point in time we'll see what happens there might be a bit more update in the video that would have already come out on monday but regardless this is me just working through it how i figure out things as i'm doing my running it's the only way to do it when you need to step out zoom out and get a fresh perspective appreciate you All right, team, GoPro's dead, and today is Tuesday, and we've now finished moving into the storage unit. Well, 80%, still a couple of little things that I've got to clean up, um, but it all went okay. It went okay, and this is the reality of it. Then sometimes when we're going into something, it doesn't feel okay. You think it's gonna to be tough, and it is. It is tough. You gotta to get over it, you gotta figure it out, you gotta work through it. But then once you do, it's usually not that bad. Now, I'm not saying that's not gonna be the case always, but the reality is this turned out all right and so far it's so good so i'll continue to give updates in my normal videos not just with the running obviously um but yeah i just wanted to share that it's 
Tuesday, I'm gonna go for a quick run and um, you can come along for the ride too. Not sure if the GoPro is gonna last, so let's see what happens. Let's get out there. So nice. Look at this, unreal. Absolutely surreal. All done. Pretty uh, small little run, and I thought the GoPro was going to die, but it was just being a bit weird for the first first part of this. But we've done a short one, two and a half k. I'm actually feeling some pain down in here, so just took it easy. And the glutes flared up a little bit. It's probably from all the extra moving, squatting, and shuffling of things. I'm hoping from the storage unit and legs are probably just maybe I've overdone it or something. I am wanting to do a half marathon this coming week, so, you know, juggling a lot of things. Anyway, back to the whole thing of the start of the original part of this video, which was, you know, I've taken you on a behind the scenes of how I'm thinking about moving into the storage unit. I've gone through that process, we've done the weekend, and as I said at the start of this run, it turned out all right. Now, to finish that off, this is the perfect analogy for life. There's things in front of us, whether it's going to work and having to have a tough conversation or having to present a, a meeting or do a speech, or it might be you have a big assignment or maybe you need to confront someone about something or maybe you know, you're know you training for something and it means you've got to do your hardest workout yet or you've got to go drive somewhere and it's going to take you two hours to get there or you've never flown before and you've got to go on the plane for the first time. All these things, they make us uncomfortable, they make us scared, they make us think or doubt why are we doing this and those things I'm not saying you should just try and do things that make you feel uncomfortable but the things that make us feel uncomfortable are essentially either going to <laughs> give us an experience where we come out stronger on the other end give us an experience where we're going to learn a lot and then we have to then leverage that to then go back and give it another go because it won't always be that you that you do something that makes you feel uncomfortable and you come out with a win on the other side you know, sometimes you have to do it five times. Um, like me, I was doing the storage unit move. Worked out pretty good. Thought it was going really good. Get to the end and then we realized we had the heat problem with the insulation and I thought it was going to be a big, big issue. And then I work around monitoring it. I've moved forward. So far, so good. But, you know, it is in the back of my mind. It's like, is this going to hold up? We're going into cooler weather. I've done some, you know, assessment around, am I comfortable with it? Take the risk. Yeah, I am. Am I going to solve for it for summer? The way to solve for it is not being there for summer. So I have to figure out a way to get out of there before summer to grow enough to make sense, if, if that makes sense. Anyway, mumbling. Pretty good run. Just a quick run, two and a half K. Appreciate you. Now, this is the end of this video. And uh, I'll keep you posted on the updates of the uh, <coughs> storage unit anyway. But this is that behind the scenes, how I'm thinking, how I'm processing it, all that jazz. Pretty solid run, beautiful morning, absolutely stunning. Appreciate you, you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Appreciate you, cheers.